Hey, listen, if you're looking for the level up for the weekend, I got you folks. Today, we're getting ready to do a country breakfast skillet, so let's get it. As you can see, it's not a whole lot of ingredients, and don't forget, the full ingredient list will be down in the description box below. Okay, so look, first thing we're gonna do is heat up our skillet, and just go ahead and cut your slices of bacon. You cut them whatever size you like, you know what I mean? Uh, I have no preference, you know what I mean? Uh, but I just like, I'm gonna tell you this, when I have bacon and when I eat it, I like to know I got some, right? So, this is it for me. Now, I did that like that for y'all. Now I'm gonna show you how I do it for me if I wasn't filming, right? It'll just be like this. We cut multiple pieces at a time. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna multitask, right? Now that we're doing our bacon, I'm gonna go ahead and take this, you know my potato, right? I just set it in here. Having a potato slicer, listen folks, will save your life and you'll see why. Cause look, when I do this, right? Move this out the way. Look, it already makes my slices like this. Perfect for french fries, right? But they also make great when I take them like this and I cube them cause I'm finna make me some hash brown slash home fries. So again, just to give you a little recap and a visual, right? So if I cut them down like this, you can cut them down whatever size, but you want to keep them as close to the same, you know, size, right? That way when you put them in the skillet, they all cook and be ready at the same time, right? So you see that right there? This is what you want. And if you guys pay attention right here, look, I got some cold water. I put these on top so we don't get no oxidation on these, uh, you know, we don't want them to turn brown, right? You saw that we put the, uh, after we cut our cubes of the potatoes, we put them in water, right? You can see how it's kind of like cloudy, more so towards the bottom, that's the starch in there, right? And we didn't want them to oxidize. Now, if you go ahead and look over here to the left, if you look at this right here, look, we got a little bacon, I already drained that. I left the fine down there, cause that's gonna be good. So now we wanna go ahead and get these as dry as possible. So I'm gonna go ahead and just drain. I'm gonna rinse one more time, and then I'm gonna get a paper towel, and then I'm gonna try to get them as dry as I possibly can. Okay, so look, I went ahead and just dumped everything into a colander and then went and did my rinse. I don't know why I was doing it the way I was doing it. And now, with the bacon grease, we just go ahead and add this. Now you guys add as much potato, however you want yours to be. I'm a meat and potato type of guy. So I got them as dry as I could. Right, and with the bacon fat, right, we just go ahead and just move these around and try to get them as coated as possible. Now, I know if you guys have been following me, you know I always like to start with my onions first, but it's gonna take a minute because we want to start browning these, right? So what I'm gonna do is, if you don't have enough, if you're saving your bacon grease, you just go ahead and add maybe a tablespoon more to it. And if you're not, good old canola, work, canola oil works also. Okay, so these are potatoes. All of you guys know that potatoes can take some seasoning, right? I'm using my, you know, my Level Up. This is the A series. I just want to put some flavor on top of here, along with the, you know, for those of you guys that didn't use the bacon fat, you know what I mean? We're just going to add a little, little something to it, right? Immediately, right off the bat, you know this is fire. The reason I didn't put a whole lot in there, because listen, I'm going to season again, but right now I just want it to be all about the potato. Okay, so after we season, right? Now take a look. Now I'm gonna go ahead and cut my onions because I still want to cook them down just a little bit more. So now we starting to build the layers of flavor, right? Remember, if you feel like you need to add just a little bit more to it, don't forget, we saved our bacon grease. And if you didn't have bacon grease, you know what we use? We use that oil, any oil that you like. Right now I'm just using canola because that's what I had loaded up. But you guys can use extra virgin olive oil, whatever your heart desires. Now we're finna bring the bell peppers in. I still always give my onions a head start, you guys. Seem like it take just a little bit more to break them down. But look, you can start seeing the color. You know what I mean? Uh, this tells everybody, look, we got a real skillet going, right? A 
Again, look, I'm gonna come back with my seasoning over the top. You know what I mean? Remember I said I was gonna do it twice, right? You just wanna get them veggies right. And you guys can go ahead and see the color. I know you guys are liking what you see. Look, this is perfect for the weekend. You know what I mean? No, to be honest, oh, and I gotta start saying this too. This is perfect if you guys are doing that meal prep. You know what I mean? You need something to just take with you in a piece of Tupperware. You know what I mean? To take it with you to your job. And boom, microwave very well. Then after you hit for salt and pepper, you know what I mean, you blew one of these uh, pieces of potato off, you know what I mean, to make sure it wasn't too hot so you can taste it. You tasted your seasoning. Once you had it to your liking, now look, now we bring that bacon back. Now, if you guys got andouille sausage, which I usually put in here too, you know what I mean, it's really up to you, but I'm just giving you guys some options. Uh, don't forget, I look at these breakfast killers just like they uh, stir fry. You can go to your refrigerator. I don't care if you got chicken in there, you know what I mean, whatever you got. Shred them down, put them back in here, reheat them, cook them, and serve them to everybody. It'll be like a brand new meal, folks. It's up to you how soft you would like for your, you know, for your uh, potatoes to be. For me, I really don't care. You know what I mean? So look, I'm taking a ladle right now. You know, I like to just make an indentation here. You know what I mean? You guys can do it however you want to. I can hear all of y'all right now saying, oh, I don't want to have no uh, eggs over easy. You know what I mean? But this is the way I like mine. You guys do them the way you guys like yours, right? You can actually just like scramble them and put them in here and have pockets of that if that's what you want to do. But you see these little four indentations I just put right here? Then I go ahead, crack, and drop them right on in there just like that. Real easy, folks. All right, for me, I like to put a little pepper. You know I me, mean? because we got everything else pretty much seasoned, but I like my eggs to have pepper on them. Uh, I don't know if you guys are an egg connoisseur like I am, but that's how I get down. And look, we're gonna let these cook however you want to. Now, for those of you guys that don't wanna have the yolk, go ahead and take a, a fork and just break the yolk now. But I'm gonna put this over the top. I'm gonna let this continue to like steam and cook my egg. I'm gonna turn it off of the fire and I'm gonna show you what it looks like in just one second. Okay, so look, don't forget, I turned off my fire, I added my cheese, put the lid on, waited a couple of minutes, and then I started sprinkling, you know, my garnish over the top, which was my green onion. Now, if you guys look, in the past, you notice I've been heavy with the cheese. You see that right there? You see how the cheese melt? Listen, I shredded that down myself. You see it? That's how it's supposed to look. Then I came back, added a little bit more cheese till I got it to my liking. I shake this right now, and you can see that everything is set the way I like it, you know what I mean? Those two eggs over there will probably be mine. Now, with that being said, let me get a thumbnail and let me go ahead and do a taste test. Okay, so look, come on in here and look at this. You can see all of the, the goodness and all of that. Listen, you want looking for something you can just whip up that'll be huge on flavor, this is it right here. So look, I'm gonna go ahead and get me some. I don't know if I can really show, but man, these are just so soft. But the integrity is still there, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and just get some of these right here. Oh. You know what, I made it. I can dig in here like I want to. I'll just lay that right there and check it out, folks. Cheers. Hey, truth, I'm gonna give it to you. You know what, from facts. It's really in the timing and the seasoning. This right here is fire, folks. I haven't kept my mouth quiet long enough. You know what I mean? You guys have been seeing it all of the videos. Get yourself some, come back and let me know. Or better yet, read the comments for those who haven't, they swear by it. This right here, mm, this combination is spot on. Now, listen, if you're new to my channel, let me just take this time to say, thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like, smash that subscribe button and tell everybody out there, there's a channel out here that's simplifying these recipes and taking the mystery out of cooking. And with that being said, folks, we finna pull up and eat.